Hi Stitchy people, uh, this is Miss Lead Pages and I am Jessie. Welcome back for those of you uh, who are returning and uh, welcome to the channel for those of you who have never been here before. Um, I am getting a lot of subscribers now and that's really exciting so I'm happy to meet you all. I hope you all find something here that you enjoy. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. It's been a minute since I did a floss tube. Uh, December has kind of been the lost month for me uh, for a lot of different reasons. Not only because the holidays are a little bit harder for me these days um, having lost my parents um, and I, I just recently lost my mom uh, it's been two years now so it, the holidays are harder than they used to be so there's that but I've also been ill for most of the month so that's why you haven't seen me for a little while but uh, we are gonna do some floss tube today and uh, hopefully I'll be doing another floss tube in a week or two because I'm splitting some stuff up today is gonna be a little bit of a special floss tube I wanted to jump in while the holidays are still fresh and do what I'm going to call Stitchmas 2019. So uh, I'm not going to show you my whips right now. I'm not going to show you my finishes and things like that today. Uh, I'm going to save that for a, a regular floss tube in a week or two uh, and show you some FFOs, some FOs, and some new starts, and uh, at, including the start, finally the start of my Stitch Your Own Adventure Harry Potter Letters from Hogwarts uh, SAL that officially starts in January. I have finally started my frame. It's not going to be finished by January, but you know, I, I got it started at least. So you'll see that soon. Uh, but today I'm going to go into some things that I got for myself for Christmas. Well, technically my husband got them for me. We got them together, I guess, um, because we're not really great at exchanging gifts. We all, we both kind of get the things that we want during the year as we want them. We get them for each other. We get them for ourselves, that kind of stuff. So it's hard for us to buy for each other for Christmas. So what we decided this year is that I would buy Christmas for myself and he would buy Christmas for himself. And then those would be our gifts to each other. So um, I, I got a lot of stuff this year, um, all stitchy related because I knew that it, pretty much I was the only one who was going to buy stitchy stuff for me. So uh, the first thing I got that I have been holding on to for a really long time is I joined the um, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Animal Almanac Stitch Along for 2020. And I decided to treat myself to the full kit and a couple of needle minders. So this I have been waiting to open. I, I got it, I think, probably two weeks before Christmas. And I was like, you know, I'll go ahead and save it. It'll be a Christmas gift for myself to open up on the day of. So first I got these cute little needle minders. Let me get them in the frame. Sorry. Hopefully it'll focus, focus. Ugh, the plastic is not letting it focus. Let me, okay. Let me try one at a time. So this is... You can't see it very well, but it is um, like a little mug of hot cocoa with a candy cane. Super cute. And this is the official, focus, uh, the official needle minder for the Animal Almanac Stitch Along for 2020. So I got those two and really strong magnets. <laughs> and like I said, I got the entire kit. Um, I got the whole kit that goes along with it. Okay, sorry, my light, for some reason, the cord is sliding. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully we're done moving now. Um, so this is the full kit uh, that they offer. They may be out of them on the website. I know that they were restocking, but at one point they were out. So you can see there's some fancy Etwell, I think that's how you pronounce that, um, those sparkly flosses in there as well as a whole range of colors. Look how beautiful those colors are for this stitch along. And then a, a nifty pack of needles. And this, um, I chose the uh, the 28 count Cashel Linen. Um, I would have preferred either um, Lugana or Jobelin or something like that, but Linen or Ada were the choices, so I decided to go with Linen. And it's this sort of like dark parchment color. My camera does not want to focus with the light where it is. I apologize, folks. And then we've got a few more colors. Oh, look at these. The purple and this magenta next to each other are like my favorite thing ever. So we've got all these great blues on the front. Oh, especially this teal. Love that color. And then we've got these great purple. So I'm super excited to see what this Animal Almanac is going to be. So that was my first gift to myself for this Christmas. Oh, and I meant to say too, you know, happy Hanukkah, because I think Hanukkah started 
Um, at the end of last week, so we're still in Hanukkah, so happy Hanukkah to those of you who celebrate belated Merry Christmas, to those of you who celebrate Christmas. Uh, today is the first day of Kwanzaa, it's December 26th, um, so it's the first day of Kwanzaa and it's Boxing Day. So happy holidays, however you celebrate. Um, I am happy to have all of you here, no matter what your um, affiliation is or beliefs are, and you know, there's Festivus for the rest of us. So, um happy holidays in whatever form that takes so that was my first bit of christmas let me just i'm really disorganized because i just got off of work and i just was really excited and really wanted to get this up and going because i po i haven't posted in so long so in addition to the frosted pumpkin stitchery um, i got myself a few things from um, mystic fabrics and misty um, and this is the first year I've purchased from Misty, but apparently, at least a couple of years running, she has done these special holiday gift boxes. And she does like three sizes of them, and basically they're curated gift boxes for stitchers that have all kinds of spiffy stuff that you would want if you were a stitcher. Just like random stuff you might not buy for yourself, um, nice stuff, cool stuff. It's got some, uh, she, I think she usually puts flosses and other different tools and just nice things um, that you can gift for yourself. And she does that because a lot of stitchers are uh, maybe stay-at-home moms or they're just, um, you know, folks on a lower income or they just don't have the ability or um, means to get themselves gifts or for others to get them gifts. Maybe they don't have folks to buy for them. So she does these gift boxes that you can buy for somebody else or you can buy for yourself so that you can have a little bit of holiday cheer as well. So I decided to get one of those. I got the medium size uh, gift box this year. I was originally going to get the small gift box and then also get a fabric grab bag, but I was not quick enough on the draw when they went on sale on, um, on Black Friday. So I ended up getting the large box and no fabric because that's what was available at the time, or the medium box and no fabric. So she did a small, medium, and large. Uh, so I have the medium and I'm going to start showing you the stuff that's in it. And that was another reason that I wanted to wait and not do this before Christmas or right on Christmas because I know a lot of people were like me and they were saving their boxes for Christmas. At this point, Except for the folks maybe saving their stuff for the end of Kwanzaa. Hopefully everybody has uh, had a chance to open their boxes. Hopefully we're not spoiling anything. So spoiler alert now, if you have a Misty box that you have not opened, skip ahead or, you know, save this until you've opened your box because I don't want to ruin anything for you. So anyway, without further ado, or actually, let me show you a couple patterns I got. <laughs> Like I said, I'm super excited. So um, actually, I got a couple of patterns uh, in addition to the box because Misty did an end of the year um, pattern sale and um, and kit sale and all that sort of stuff. So I got a couple other things too. So um, I've been looking at some ink circles designs for a while. And one of the things that Misty had on sale for her end of year blowout was this ink circle design. This is called A Bit Dotty. And it's just a cute, simple little pattern. My camera does not want to focus today. Um, super cute. You can make it into a biscornu. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, or a pillow or whatever you'd like to do. Just a really nifty little pattern. So I got that. Um, and that was actually a surprise free pattern. So that was pretty cool. Misty did these like... Uh, random acts of kindness, some racks. She did some free patterns. She did all kinds of craziness. So um, I also um, got this. This is Glendon Place. Uh, cross stitch designs for the heirloom stitcher. And this one is called Someone We Love. And as I was just saying, um, all of my parents are in heaven. So I got this. Um, to hang in the house. As you can see, our walls are kind of bare. You wouldn't know that we've been in this house for about five years <laughs> because there's some pictures uh, right about there. Those actually belong to my mother, so they're not mine and my husband's taste, but you know, they still kind of live there, but the walls, we never really got around to putting anything up on the walls. So anyway, this is, this is a piece that I want to do to put up on the walls. This is called uh, as I said, someone we love, and it says, because someone we love is in heaven, there's a little heaven in our home. And I'm going to try not to get choked up. Um, anyway, this is a full kit, so it comes with some, and I think these are, yeah, these are dinky dies. 
It comes with some Mill Hill beads, a little angel charm. I'm probably actually going to leave the angel charm off just because it's not really my bag. But I'm excited to work with these Dinky Dyes um, flosses because I, I think these are silk and I've never, um, I've never worked with those before. So that'll be really, really fun. But like I said, we have we have a few folks we're missing. So this is to honor them and keep them close. So I got that. Now, the Misty Box. Misty Box. Oh my gosh. So I had no, I, I knew a little bit what to expect because I had checked with Misty and I was like, so what kind of stuff comes in the box? Because I didn't want a, a bunch of stuff that I'd never use. Um, I wanted stuff that would be a surprise, but would be things that would be useful for me, things that would be fun. So, uh, and I was, I was not at all disappointed. Definitely not disappointed. So I'll start with some of the small bits. Um, these were some of the, the really cool things um, that I thought were nice for Misty to kind of curate and make sure it ended up in the box. So Misty makes these little froggers. So if you're not familiar with frogging, then you're either the best stitcher in the world or you're a brand new stitcher. Um, so frogging is what happens, for those who don't know, frogging is what happens when you make a mistake and you have to rip out all the stitches that you just did. So when you have to rip out all those stitches, it's called frogging. And it's sometimes easier to do that if you have a separate tool instead of your needle. So these are kind of, I mean, these are essentially needles that have some um, some beads and stuff on the end of them so that they're a little bit easier to hold and easier to manipulate. And there's a little piece of wool to keep the pointy end from poking into things. So she makes these really nifty little guys and she included two of those in the box. So that's really cool. Uh, she also included some dinky dyes, um, flosses. I believe these are silk. Yeah, these are hand dyed silk flosses stinky dyes. Really cool. These actually go with something else that came in the box. So these are really, really pretty. And I'll show you the other thing in a minute. There's also this snag repair tool, which I've never, I've never seen one of these before. I don't know if you're familiar with it. So I don't really know how to use it. I've, I've not seen one before, but um, I'm sure that will come in handy at some point. Um, and also these really nice Ginger embroidery scissors. So I actually have a pair of embroidery scissors that I really, really love. But you can never have too many pairs of scissors, in my opinion. And these look like really nice, high quality ones. So that was really nice for her to include all that sort of stuff. So that's like the, the little bits that came along with the other stuff. So in addition to that, there was also... Um, and I got to choose the size of this. There was also a grime guard. So this is sized for an 11 inch Q-snap. So nice and stretchy. And it's got this, it's hard to tell in this light, but it's got sort of a mottled blue color to it. It's really pretty. And in addition to that, there is a matching project bag. So I'm not sure if um, if Misty just contracted with um, the the person who makes these or if these are custom made for these boxes. But regardless, um, the person who makes these is uh, SilverMoonSewing.com. So handmade because you're worth it. Um, is a little tag they include, and um, you can find them apparently on SilverMoonSewing.com. I'll include a link. Uh, in the video here. So we got the, we got the nice grime guard. You can never have too many grime guards. And I've, I've learned how to make these. They're not difficult to make, but I never seem to find the time to actually sew them. So that's really nice. Let's see, we've got all the little bits here. So, uh, one of the, the things that I loved the best about the box, actually, let me, let me wait on that. Let me wait. Um, so a couple of the things that came with the box, a chart clip, it's so shiny. So this actually will hook on, you can see in the picture here, this will hook on to a Q snap or, or a scroll frame, um, pretty much anything that has sort of a rounded frame that it can hold on to. 
and then you can clip your your chart right in the top here so that you can have it hanging on your Q-snap so that you can see your chart while you're you're stitching and you don't have to like do the the thing that I'm always doing which is the back and forth and back and forth um, looking at your chart so that's really nice and then also this ultimate pressing cloth Woo! so um, obviously once you have a finish you want to make sure that it's nice and ironed and all that sort of stuff so this is a nice um, felted kind of mat um, that I believe you would uh, you might put your stitch in between this and iron it or at the very least you're going to put your stitch on top of this and iron it so that you don't lose all the dimension from your stitches so I haven't looked at the instructions um, I don't actually iron a lot of my pieces I don't have a lot of finishes to have ironed so I don't have a ton of experience but I'm very excited about this I actually just recently got a um, an ironing mat um, to use instead of I have this tiny tiny little quilted or ironing board for quilting um, and it's only I think 8 by 10 or 8 by 11 or something like that it's tiny 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 so it's really hard to get a good press um, but I recently bought a nice big ironing pad that I can lay across the table it'll keep the table from getting damaged um, and I bought a real iron instead of my tiny little craft iron so with this along with those implements I think I will have really nice crisp finished pieces um, that will look really really great so I'm very excited about that now the piece de resistance um, these were my favorite piece um, because um, you had no idea what you were going to get and um, the, the ones that I got, I'm really, really excited about. So uh, first is, these are all patterns. So I got four different patterns. Um, this first one is Hands-On Design, a Haberman company. And this is called uh, Java, I believe. So this is a cute little pattern to make this uh, little square pin cushion that has coffee cups on it. And that is, it's got coffee beans on the bottom too. How cute is that? And that's totally me. I'm such a coffee drinker. So that's going to be really cute. And it comes with this little piece of fabric. I don't know if you can see the detail because my camera is not playing nice today. But it's got this really awesome texture to it. Um, it's got this really great weave in addition to the lines that are on it. Um, and you use that to make the top where the pins go. So that's going to be super, super cute. I'm not sure what fabric. I don't think I'll use a brown fabric like they suggest. Um, I will probably use a different color. Um, oh, there we go. It focused. Yeah, so I'll probably use something a little bit lighter than that. But I'm excited about that. That's going to be a cute little project. And this is Ship's Manor. And this pattern is called Dance of the Butterflies by Eric Shipley. And look... Look, 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 it's Monarch Butterflies. That is a really nice pattern. It's got two big butterflies and it looks like four small butterflies and then flowers and it's really gorgeous. I love butterflies. I really, really love butterflies. Um, I've always been really partial to tiger swallowtails and zebra swallowtails. Those have always been my favorites um, as well as just um, your basic swallowtail as well with the purple and blue on the edges of its wings. But monarchs are really cool too. So that's, that's really cool. It's almost like she knew who she was sending it to and she doesn't know me that well. <laughs> so that was really nice. Um, and I did notice that different people got different patterns. I mean, there were some, um, as folks were posting their spoiler, spoilery posts, um, I could see that some people got some of the same patterns I did, but they didn't get all the same patterns and vice versa. Um, and that was even between other people who got the medium sized box. So she really did kind of pick and choose and make things different. So that was really cool. This one is really nifty. So this is, uh, Fabby Riley Designs, F-A-B-Y Riley Designs, um, and it's a Peacock Biscornu. Look at that. I've seen a couple of Peacock Biscornu uh, patterns, and this one I actually like better than some of the other ones that I've seen. And uh, I'm not sure what fabric I'm going to use. I think... Okay, so most of this is actually designed that they put on a light blue fabric. So I probably have something, have a misty fabric I can use for this. 
So that's really nice. I've been dying to do a biscornu and I just haven't done it yet. Ah! Okay, I just lost a pattern. The cats will get it for me. It'll be fine. <laughs> and last but not least, um, this is Lassiter's Reef and this is a Dinky Dyes design. So if you remember, I got some Dinky Dyes silk floss in this box and this is the pattern that that belongs to. So those colors create this pattern. This is really cool. I love geometric designs. So I was super excited to see this. This isn't my usual color palette. It's very, uh, but it's very autumnal. So what I might do is save this one for next fall, uh, maybe September-ish, October-ish, and then start that then when I can do these autumnal colors and really kind of feel the vibe, you know? But I love this pattern. I'm super excited about this. So, and there you have it. That is the Misty Box. Um, I'll have to retrieve that other pattern that I dropped on the floor. Um, and yeah, so next time I, we get together, uh, I will tell you about the things that I have finished. I will have at least one um, FFO, a fully finished object. Um, I'll have to show you pictures because I already gave it to the person I was gifting it to. So I don't have the physical object to show you, but I will have pictures for you um, so that you can see the final finish. Um, I will have at least one finished object, but maybe not fully finished object to show you. And I will have at least one new start as well as my whips. And we'll also go through the regular stash flash because I have gotten some other things um, since my last video. So I'll let you know what all those things are. And we'll talk about how 2020 is going to be the year of the SAL for Jesse. So um, if you're into all of that, then definitely come back. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified anytime I post anything new, hit the little bell and it will let you know every time I post a new video. Until next time, I hope you all are having a happy, happy holiday. Um, I hope you were able to spend time with your loved ones or to at least enjoy your time with yourself. Um, and we'll see you next time. Have a great one. 